What's going on YouTube? We're back here for another one. Um, so today we are going to do as much as we can to try to get this thing to start. Um, so Tim, Doug, and uh, Jeff are pulling up. Um, pretty much have a few things left for wiring, a few things left for vacuum lines. Uh, I still have to hook up the oil drain for the turbo. Um, I've been having issues fitting that. And other than that, it's looking pretty solid. Um, I still got to hook up the brake booster and all that. Um, I have to get a new clutch slave cylinder. I completely forgot that I snagged it out for the yellow car for a drift event because um, I needed it that night because the drift event was the next day and I had to do a clutch job. Um, so let me flip the camera around. So pretty much got to hook the battery up. Um, I still have a ton to do on the interior. I haven't done any of the gauges, any of that stuff yet. Um, it's full of crap. I'm gonna actually probably go through all that today and get it out of here and into the shed because it's literally just boxes for all the parts that have gone into this. Um, so yeah, I gotta do slave cylinder. That's not mandatory for startup. I'll just pop the thing in neutral. Um, do a bunch of vacuum lines. There's a bunch of caps right here you can see. Um, there's also a vacuum line that's going to the wrong thing, I believe. Uh, that actually might just need intake pressure, but I don't know. Um, and then I did get coolant hoses, so I'm going to do those up. Got to put the V-bands on, bolt the turbo down with the gasket, hook up the oil line. Um, but we're getting there. Once Tim and Doug get here, I'm sure this thing's going to start just like... But, um yeah we're we're making progress i'll i'll keep you updated throughout the day um should should be a good one So we're out here grinding, made some progress since the last video. Uh, we're measuring up the coolant lines, getting the turbo all situated. Um, the drain wasn't fitting, so Doug's been messing around with that. Final touches on the fuel lines. Um, cooling system, I don't know if it's going to be fully like plumbed up today because there's that little spot on the back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to block that off. Um, and then it's pretty much set the wastegate, uh, load up the base tune, and we're going to try to fire it. Um, then back here i was just double checking everything's all set with the fuel pump um i did the rally road uh bolton walbro 450 and yeah it was full of crap as i uh, was showing in the last video it's all cleaned out now vacuumed up so this thing should be ready for the road soon shout out tim and doug for always coming down to grind on it and uh yeah tim's finding bolts but I'll keep you updated. All right, so we got Tim and Doug going to town. Jeff pulled up. So we just drilled out the uh, the little holes for the turbo drain. Oh, yeah. Because um, for some reason, they didn't... The bolts that they sent... Well... So this was supposed to be like a, a drain for a Borg Warner turbo. They didn't line up with the turbo yeah. bolts, so we had to go get hardware store bolts and drill out the uh, the holes on the thing. But we're, we're making progress. Uh, Tim's working on the power wires for the alternator and starter. You got any heat shrink? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, got to still put the spring in the wastegate, load up the base map, and we should be able to fire it. So... <laughs> All right, so we grind it all day. Shout out to the fellas. Oh, yeah. um, we got it pretty much there. Uh, everything's checked over. We just got to get, um, for some reason, power wasn't going from the ECU into the car. Nothing was like working. Um, so got to double check the wiring a little bit. And also the oil feed line um, right down in here. I don't know if you can even see it, but oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, the line completely kinked, so I have to get a new feed line, and I also have to figure out why the, I'm going to go in through the back because the front door is acting up, the, uh, the power isn't going from the engine bay into the car. Um, we checked with the test light, we're getting power at the post up there, but for some reason it's not powering the ECU, and uh, nothing in the car is turning on, but other than that, 
Um, pretty much just double checking everything, figuring out why it's not working. But we got it for the most part done. And uh, I'll just keep you updated as uh, we keep wrenching. And hopefully this thing starts up in the next few days. But that'll be in the next video, I guess. All right. Have a good one, guys.